Hello everyone, welcome back to Full Moto. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of just all the stuff I've got on my bike, all the parts I've bought and where you can get them and how much they cost. So first of all I'll start with the drilled axles. So as you can see with the drilled axles it allows you to mount a crash bobbin or um, what I've used as a really cheap alternative is a skateboard wheel and um, yeah it's just a bolt which you then screw into the axle as you can see they've got a little um, I think it's a six mil hole um, drilled in and tapped so that you can either fit pegs or um, crash bobbins and so that one hasn't got one on the side but you see that one's got one and they're really easy to fit and on the back, it's exactly the same. It's just a tapped hole that they've um, pre-drilled so that you can fit stump pegs or crash bobbins. And so I thought I'd just show you what it looks like with the peg on. I used some grip tape from a, sk a skateboard and some silicon sealant just to stick it on so that when I stand on it, I've got a bit more grip. So that's what the bike looks like with the peg. Well, one peg on, as you can see. And um, yeah, you might have seen in the videos that um, I fitted some stunt pegs to them. And yeah, they work really well. Um, the only problem is this side fits really well. But this side, if you haven't got um, spacers, or anything like that, it can come really loose. So you've got to make sure you use some good spacers and tighten it really hard for them for the pegs not to bend on each side. Because um, what's happened on this side is I've not tightened it properly or used the wrong bolt and it bent. And now I've got a piece of metal stuck inside the um, axle, so I can only put a peg on this side. But um, yeah, you can buy those. Uh, for £15 each, so £30 for the pair from Welsh Pit Bikes, and those are the 15mm axles. I think you can buy 12mm ones, I'm not too sure, but yeah, they'll cost you 30 quid for the pair. Um, now to the fat bars, the fat bars cost me £19.99 or £20, including delivery off eBay, and um, yeah, they just make the buy the bars a bit wider so that you have more control and they're a bit lighter as well so that's nice and then this is the engine I bought the YX160 from CW bikes this cost me 399 including delivery or 400 pounds and uh, yeah it came with a carb radiator engine gear lever kickstart everything like that So this is the radiator I bought for my 125. I think this part with the leads was £20 and then that part there was 999 And if you've got a 50cc or a 125 or up to a 125 pit bike, you'll need this um, conversion plate which has got uh, two holes in it pre-tapped for banjo bolts so that you can fit an oil cooler. And then these two holes um, you just put a bolt through to the two holes that are underneath your frame and that's how you connect it but um, the only reason I bought one of these for it is because obviously now the bikes road legal it'll be doing a lot of you know sort of long journeys at high revs so I just recommend getting one of them to stop your engine from overheating this is an aftermarket gear lever which cost me 9.99 and I really like that, it's a bit more uh, stylish than the original silver one. Um, this is just a phone holder I bought off eBay for my Samsung S5. And the app I use is just Speedometer GPS from the, the Play Store. And it's a really good app, really accurate. So I like that, I recommend that really well. Um, the exhaust I've got is a stump one but it's got a silencer in it 
so it's a lot quieter than the straight through ones that come with the bike and it means you can you know ride in some more secret places without people knowing you're there which is um, really good and uh, that's what we've got on the Kurs RT1 at the moment this light cost me 9 dollars it's an LED strip bar I just wired this button to the ignition so that when I turn the key on this has got power and then that's on or off and that's really good to have an extra bright light or fog light and then the last thing I've got is this um, CW bikes uh, catch tank which was um, this was also £25 including delivery and it looks really nice and I put these Kawasaki stickers on it and it works really well the only annoying thing is you have to use shorter bolts there so that it fits because the normal sump guard is about that thick so you have to get smaller bolts and then also um, because obviously it's a catch tank and it's supposed to catch all the oil and petrol and then I think and stop it from going on the track when you take it to a track day or you know you've got a supermoto and you want to ride it on a track this is what you need um, so that you know you don't spill oil everywhere but the problem is when you go dirt riding it fills up with mud and dirt I don't know if you can see that and it's really hard to wash out so I'm gonna swap that back to the original black sump guard yeah because it's just easier then and this hasn't got a drain hole or anything to let out any liquid so you know you can't do an oil change or anything without taking this off so I'm just gonna get rid of it and um, yeah other than that it's pretty nice oh one last thing the exhaust wrap this is just some fiberglass exhaust wrap you can buy off eBay and I think I had about 10 or 20 meters of it for about 10 pound and um, yeah it just looks really nice and um, it's supposed to help with throttle response and stuff when the gases get really hot and the exhaust but yeah that's the bike and the things I've done to it everything else on the bike is completely standard and um, yeah I've just left it as it is um, the only thing I've had to buy since I've got it and replace if it's broken is the rear brake caliper and that's it um, everything else is stayed together really nice and you know you try to keep maintaining the bike every week if you ride it a lot you know at least just check everything every time after every time you ride it just to make sure it's all nice and tight and keep everything greased up this is the same chain that I've had on it for a year and a half now and you know it just needs to clean and re-wax in and it'll be fine and uh, yeah other than that, the bike's held up really well and I recommend them to anyone. They're the best fun you can have on two wheels. So yeah, please like, favourite, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. And yeah, uh, see you soon. Peace.